Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We are on the settlement. I believe this is Lopferdom, but it is on the medium size. And the town center, I think, was right over here. So we're going to do a little bit of the smiley face for the town center. But this is not a regular siege battle. This is part of the Total War League siege Season 5 tournament hosted by Marketable Skills. We'll make sure to put the link for his Discord and for his Twitch channel down in the description below. Alright, so today's battle is between the Alexander's Heirs, who are on attack. And we have the Crimson Chickens on defense. Let's take a look at the armies. First, we'll start off here with Epirus being commanded by Decibel, and he has brought four units of Royal Peltas, one of those being his general, three Samnite warriors, three Italian swordsmen, one Illyrian levy, three Cretan archers, one regular archer, and he does have one giant ballista, as the attackers are really allowed to bring one artillery. Getting in onto Massilia being commanded by Mo, and he has brought seven units of Thorax swordsmen, seven th Massilian 3 0 spears, two Massilian cavalry, one of those being his general. We do see one unit of his Celtic slingers, but... Uh, I'm sure there's some Gallic Hunters there. Getting in onto the Defender's side, we will first take a look at Nabatea being commanded by Ruvek May, and he has brought four units of the Nabatean Axe Warriors, four Desert Levy, two Noble Swords, two Armored Desert Hoplites, one Desert Pikeman. His general is a Nabatean Noble Cavalry. He also has four units of the Heavy Archers, and he did bring a Scythe Chariot. Very cool. And then we have Nervii here being commanded by the one and only Pixelated Apollo. And he has brought five units of Fierce Swords, three Celtic Warriors, three Osworn, one of those being his general, one Levy Freeman, one Naked Warrior, and four units of the Gallic Hunters. Naked Warrior is over there with the Nabataean Noble Cavalry General. But all right. Let's see. Whoa. All right. So the attackers have already knocked down some wall breaches. Wow, that was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. But all right. We have Archer Towers firing. Got some Levy Freeman for Nervi are going to be climbing up onto the walls here. And oh boy, we got arrows. We already have arrows firing in onto this Nabateen Axe Warrior unit. Unfortunately, they are facing... Yeah, he's going to have to turn them. Better way to defend would be to turn them that way so their shields will up be, be at least in front of them. But we, 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 doop, 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 doop. we see a Gallic Hunter. There they are, just showing up out of nowhere. Nabateen Heavy Archer going to move up a little bit further. Maybe he's going to try and battle that Gallic Hunter. But nope, Gallic is going to run back into the Fog of War because that's what they do. They're just ninjas. They are straight up ninjas. Now, Epirus has yet to make a move towards the wall. So, so far, Massilia is going to be crashing in on this corner. And I have to say, he's doing a pretty good job. He's knocked down a rather sizable breach for himself and maybe his ally to be able to use. Did move his general over here just to keep an eye out. There is this gate far over here. Again, this is on medium-sized settlement. So uh, the defenders did not get any wall artillery, as is a standard for the Total War League Siege tournaments. All right, so Epirus is going to focus his uh, giant ballista here into knocking down one of the towers. It's already up to 85, now 91%. So two more shots, and that tower should be down Vasily is just going to continue Swiss cheese in this wall. Moving up another unit of his Thorax Swordsman here with a, another one of the tortoises to knock down a wall. We have some more Gallic Hunters that have moved forward. Let's see what they're firing at. Let's see exactly what they're firing at. Looks like they are shooting at the Gallic Hunters here for Nervii. Going to try and run away. And oh, the wall. Wait, what? How did that not do any damage? The pieces literally fell right on top of this Axe Warrior unit. Interesting, but all right. 
Epirus has been successful in knocking down one of the towers. He's going to start blasting away on the second tower there. And you can see he is definitely manually firing this. Ooh, that's going to be a little short. He's definitely manually firing this as only one ballista is firing. So again, if you guys do not know how to manually fire artillery, simply just press insert. That will put you into the ballista. You can right click to zoom in, left click to fire. And if you need to move up and down between the other pieces of the artillery, you can just simply just hit page up and page down and it will cycle through the other pieces of the artillery um, because there's four pieces, so you can cycle through all four. Sometimes you can get a little bit better of an angle on other pieces, so it's not always needed to just stay on one. Like this one, he might have a little bit better of a straight shot, but it could also be a little off left or right, so... He seems to be doing quite a good job with this far left artillery piece, though. 42% on that arrow tower, but all right. We have some Missilian troops already inside the settlement. Got a unit of Thorax swordsmen over here. Unfortunately, just taking shot. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. They're getting shot now. We got some Nabataean heavy archers. Yes, we do. Nabataean heavy archers here starting to unload. Nine kills so far for them. Let's see if that volley gets any more. Yeah, actually, 11 more kills on that volley. Nice. Very nicely done. Really doing a number on that Thorax Swordsman unit there. Over here, we have some Thorax charging in. Going to take on some Desert Levy. That is not going to be a long fight. That is really not going to be a very long fight at all. That Desert Levy, yeah, they're just not. Look at that number dropping. Already down to 135 men. Thorax Swordsman just chewing them up. But we actually have Thorax into the Celtic Warrior unit. Look at this dude getting in there. All by himself. Ooh. Oh, let's see. He's. I think he's already killed one guy. Let's see how successful he can continue being against these Celtic Warriors. I think it's just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. Oh, nope, he's dead. Okay, so they were able to kill that one guy at least. So Celtic Warriors here now with two kills. They are pressing up into the Thorax Swordsman who is already closing in on 100 kills. Lots of damage. We have some Thoreo Spears. The Massilian Thoreo Spears have moved in behind that Thorax. General's ability blasted off. We have the Battle Rhythm a hit. So closing in on again. 100 kills up to 89 right now we have any pressure coming this way we do not we do have a unit of axe warriors making their way a little bit closer here maybe they're going to try and throw some javelins at that lone unit of thorax swordsman Ax oh actually no we got some Naptean archers moving up over here and they are going to fire into the back of the thoreo spears good job firing away onto those thoreos Getting a couple of kills. Actually killed nine. Nice job. Thorax Swordsman here. 108 kills. They are going to pull back. They are active. So it might have been actually a little bit better to leave them in combat until they at least hit the tired phase. Because active is percentage-wise and all those hidden numbers and everything. Active is actually the best time to have the unit in the fight. But he is going to shift in his Thoreo Spears here now. What is out here? What is that? Oh, that's the unit of uh, Desert Levy that returned. So they did retreat back and went through the gate here. But uh-oh. This could be bad. Ballista has been successful in knocking down the second arrow tower. Now, it looks like he's blasting away on the gate. I don't really know if he wants to be doing that. It does look like he has stopped, though. He's got seven kills. Somehow, he's gotten seven kills. I'm not sure exactly how he did that. But, all right. Thoreo Spears still up in the thick. 36 kills. Thorax have charged back in here as well. They are fresh. So, I guess maybe he got a general ability off. He does have his general right there. So, maybe it was. Maybe he did get a refresh there. Celtic Warriors here, unfortunately, not really stacking up very well. Taking some javelin volleys and those swords from the Thorax Swordsman. Thorax Swordsman are going to pull away. The Rayo's still just standing right there, just tossing these murder sticks. Mur oh, God, just killing these third. Oh, nope, Celtic Warriors going to turn back around, get a nice little peel of volley of their own. But the Thorax coming in again. Looks like a little bit of a dry fire there from the Thorax, unfortunately. They didn't really get that many kills on the Javelin Volley, but they still have over 150 kills, so really doing a great job. Has not even lost 40 men yet, but all right, Gallic Hunters have moved forward again. 12 kills so far. Looks like they are firing in onto some of the Nabateen Heavy Archers. Lost eight so far. Let's see what Epirus is doing. He has finally started moving forward. He's got his unit of Illyrian Levies getting up onto this tortoise here. They're going to knock down this wall section right there. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Any pressure coming in on this side? Not just yet. Not just yet, but this Thorax Swordsman unit here has just been getting murdered. The Archer Tower doing a lot of damage. The, the uh, Nabataean Heavy Archers here are up to 73 kills, doing some good job. Firing, unfortunately firing straight into this Thorax Swordsman unit, which isn't really going to cause as much damage as he's probably hoping that it would. 
Maybe if he could move them forward a little bit more, actually it might not be a bad idea. If he cycled them back here and tried to fire across the buildings, he'd probably be getting some really good kills on that Dorao Spear there. This original Thorax Swordsman unit is still here fighting away now, taking on some Navateen Axe Warriors, just using their Frenzy Charge, and they're going to continue chasing this unit of Thorax back. 174 kills for this Thorax. Under 100 men, though, but again, the Thoreos right there. Tossing those Javelins. Looks like they're out. 67 kills for them. Let's see how we're doing back over here with the Archers. Does look like the Navateen Archer did pull back. He's lost 12. Now we have the Gallic Hunter starting to take some damage. Oh, boy. Oh boy, now the Celtic Warriors over here taking, wow, a lot of damage. 45 men dead out of that Celtic Warrior unit already. My God. Oh, but we have, that's what it is. It's Cretan Archers have moved forward. Did they just kill? Oh, that's a Celtic Warrior unit. Okay. I thought that was the, uh, the Levy unit there from Nabatea. But all right, those look like they're still holding here. Let's see what the reinforcement lines are going to look like. We have some Desert Levy, some more Fierce Swords. Both the units of the Hunters are pulling back. Oh. The Nabataean Heavy Archers and the Gallic Hunters both falling back. Oswan General sitting right there. Nabataean General has yet to move. So this unit of Thorax here still just getting shot away. And he's not... I mean, he's he's losing to the Archer Tower. So that's kind of... Uh, it seems like that's going to be a little bit of a wasted unit. I mean, I get why he has them over there. Just in case anything from Nabataea decides to come out. But maybe pull it back a little bit further. I mean... He could just push it back over here. He's got units right there to be able to defend anything or attack anything that comes forward. But all right, back over here. Let's see. The gatehouse is being neutralized. How is it being neutralized? How is this gate being neutralized? There's nothing in here. Oh, that's right. I'm stupid. Wow, the Mas <laughs> Massilia is still pushing on forward here. He's actually got units all the way over here. I wonder if taking out these towers is going to be a... Uh, a bit of a detriment. What's this guy up to? 211 kills. The Cretan Archers now really starting to unload here. Getting some really solid kills on that Celtic Warrior unit there. This unit here, still 134 men. They are currently winning the fight, taking on this Thoreo Spear. Thorax Swordsman finally being taken out. 214 kills for them, though. Very, very nicely done with that Thorax Swordsman. Another unit has moved forward. We're going to have some Javelin Volleys? Probably. Charging in. Oh, actually, they didn't kill it. Nope, they killed a couple on that one. Okay. So the second volley actually got some kills, but oh, now we have the Ballista firing. 24 kills, and he is just going to fire straight down this road. Fierce Swords taking some damage. Desert Levy looks like they've taken some damage. Nabati and Heavy Archers here firing. Oh, no, they're pulling away. I thought they were getting ready to fire, but there comes another shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that Gallic Hunter. Almost got murdered, but fortunately for him, he did not lose his life. Now, over here, we do have some Nabataean forces pushing out. A unit of Desert Levy pushing out. Looks like they finished off. Yeah, I think they did. They finished off that Thorax Swordsman unit. Got completely... Tra oh, ouch. Shot in the back. Yeah, they got one kill. So, I mean... It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's tournament play, guys. Everybody does weird things. Sometimes tactics... Seem to be a little bit strange to uh, a lot of people, or maybe some people, but does look like Massilia is definitely doing a lot of the heavy lifting so far. We do have some Italian swordsmen finally coming through the walls for Epra, so he is getting ready to join the battle, but this has been Massilia this whole time. Another unit of Thorax getting taken out. Only 83 kills with that unit. Ooh, that's actually a lot less than the uh, previous unit that we saw, but Dorios now moving up again. Sicilian Thoreo Spears, they still... No, they don't have any Javelins left. This unit, 123 kills. Although they do, they do still have Javelins. Wow. Wow. Good. Close firing right there. Cretan Archers are still just unloading on these Fierce Swords, which unfortunately... I mean, the Fierce Swords, they do have shields, but their armor is still only 45. And they charged in there into that unit of Sicilian Thoreo Spears, leaving this unit wide open to continue just killing them off. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Fear Swords getting taken out. 74 kills for them. Let's see what's going back on over here. Massilia, Epirus now starting to really push in some more units. He's got the Italian Swordsman. Illyrian Levy's making their way forward. Another big push coming from Massilia. He's got three units of his Toreo Spears there. Massilia and Toreo Spears. One full unit right there. Zero kills so far. So they have full javelin capability still. This unit came with 120 
Another unit there charging forward, 138 kills for them. Desert Levy going to charge on out. Do we have archers inside the walls? We do. Unit of the Gallic Hunters has made their way through the wall breach, and we do also have two of the Cretan archers have made their way forward as well. Can see that Massilia has now moved over three units of its thorax swordsman here, so this definitely looks like this is going to be their pressure zone. Uh, Nabatea is starting to form up a little bit more of a defense on this side. Axe warriors, three units of his Nabatean hunter, uh, Nabatean archers, heavy archers there. Uh, we do still have the unit of the Levy Freeman up on the wall there for Nervii, but let's see. What are these guys going to fire at? Let's see. They only have three kills. They are unfortunately facing the wrong way, and oh boy, Celtic Slinger's going to take the opportunity, tossing those stones from a pretty far distance. Firing way over here. Are they getting any kills? Not just yet. Oh, wait. Never mind. Ouch. Ouch. That had to have been the Cretans helping them out. Yes, it is. Cretan archers here now starting to fire. The other Gallic hunters now getting involved in the fight. We have the other two units there. The third unit is inside the walls. 110 kills for them. But unfortunately, this Nabataean heavy archer unit is getting mauled. We actually had the general come all the way back over here. He was started out on that side over there by that back gate, or the side gate, I should say. But the Nabataean general has made their way all the way back over here. Has not taken any losses, but they were being fired at. Wonder if maybe those were just some uh, off-target arrows that were being fired at the archers. But both of these units taking some, some losses. Not terrible. Seven and five so far out of those two units. But we do have some Sam Knights have made their way inside. Let's get back over here where the main action is going. Really the only action that's going on right now. Dreo Spears for Massilia up on the front line here again. Unit is losing, taking on some Desert Levy, but they are taking some Javelin Volleys from the Fear Swords here as well. Oh, we just refreshed the Massilian Dreo Spears. 172 kills for them. Wow. Fear Swords now going to charge on in, hitting that Frenzy ability. Might want to hit that. Might have wanted to hit that charge, or that Frenzy, just a little bit earlier to get that extra bit of charge bonus. But again, Thoreo Spear, Jesus, Heal of Fest, Murder Stick Central, oh my god. Look at these Fear Swords just getting pierced, that dude just took two Javelins to the head. Oh god, pin cushions, just straight up pin cushions. Oh my god, oh, now they're going to charge back in. Is that the Fear Swords that just charged? It was. 93 kills for them. All right, getting a good amount of kills. But they are, yeah, that, that exertion, fatigue, down to tired. They are winning the fight, though. Just said that unit, unit winning decisively. Currently taking on the Illyrian Levies. Another unit of the Desert Levy forming that Nabatea has charged in onto these Basilian Thoreo Spears, already getting close to 100 kills for themselves. Gallic Hunters over here, 110 kills. But ooh, look at this, Nabatea starting to send some units outside. What's he got? An Axe Warrior and a Desert Levy outside. Levy Freeman for Nervii have now come back down off the walls. And here comes the General. So he forced his way back. Well, he didn't force. He rode all the way back around over here. It is winded. Does he have... He does. He, had, he does have the uh, Strategist General. So he can refresh himself. That will definitely be handy because he's going to be exhausted or at least tired very, very soon. He's been doing a lot of running. He ran from here all the way around over there and outside. So very soon here, he's probably going to be hitting that tired phase. But all right, back inside. Epirus has pushed forward with these Illyrian levies. 36 kills for them. But they are still... Oh, never mind. Fear Swords, 123 kills. Okay. But again, just the archer power here is just taking over. Cretan archers firing again. 121 kills. Yet another line for the defenders shattering... And breaking down. Nabataean Axe Warriors that routed. Now coming back to the fight. Going to charge on in here. Take on some Thorax Swordsmen. That is not going to go their way. That is really not going to go their way. We got Fierce Swords right there firing away. I'm not sure if maybe they got some friendly kills. They do have nine, and again, they're going to charge in there using that Frenzy ability. A little bit better of a time there. I would keep charging. 
Frenzy ability is still being used. Charge in there. Get that charge bonus off. Getting into some Illyrian levies. Okay. I mean, not a very, not a very worrisome unit, Illyrian levies. They have 95 kills, though, so they are actually doing pretty good. But again, the Rayo Spears. We have Royal Peltas up here. Oh, no. Royal Peltas right there. Full unit firing away, throwing those javelins and just mur... Oh, God, fear swords. Getting killed off. Not looking good for this Fierce Sword unit at all. Oh, God. More barbarians just taking javelins to the face, to the head. And the Thorax going to charge back in. Do we have a little bit of a... Yeah, we have a little bit of an avenue right here. A little bit of a gap in the line. Navatine Axe Warriors charging forward. They are going to start taking some javelin volleys now as well from this Massilian Dorio Spear. 153 kills. They've only lost... Oh, oh, they lost more. Yep, they, they lost a lot more right there. They lost about 12 more on that charge. So good javelin volley uh, from the Navatine Axe Warriors. Let's see, we got Archer Fire again. Gallic Hunter starting to fire away. They did use their quick reload ability. They have 18 kills so far. The Armored Desert Hoplite's right there. Let's see what's going back on out over here. Nabatea still has these just two units outside. Uh, but some of his Nabatean archers are taking some real damage. Only five kills so far. Down to 69. Giggity. Oh, what is this? Massilian Cavalry making their way around. I wonder if they're going to... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe they see the general. The general is moving. He's just walking, though. He's just marching over here trying to uh, keep his stamina at bay at least a little bit. They are winded, so not terrible. Back inside, Cretan Archers, 164 kills. Front line is a Nabataean Axe Warrior. We have some more. Looks like Fierce Sword's going to shift down over here. I mean, there is an Oswan right there. He could try and take the opportunity to maybe charge the Oswan in there and get some really solid kills on these Thorax and Toreo Spears. Even the Royal Peltas right there. I mean, oh, the Royal Peltas actually fell back. Okay. This is just Italian Swordsman. Yeah, that also one would be able to do a decent amount of damage. Let's see what kind of ammo we still have over here. Oh, we got a Thoreo Spear, zero kills. Very dangerous. Uh, Gallic Hunter's there with 111. This Cretan Archer unit probably out of ammo. Yeah, they're just getting shot, though. That is very unfortunate. We have arrows being used on a Cretan Archer unit that's already out of ammunition. So very, very unfortunate right there. Italian Swordsman going to make their way back. Looks like maybe they threw their Javelin volleys again. Thorax coming up. 143 kills down to 124 men. 182 on that Massilian Thoreos with uh, 182 kills. My God. Really doing a lot of damage. Navatine Axe Warriors have charged forward. But here comes that Thoreos again. Just going to plow right up into the middle and hold that line. But oh boy, here we go. Tough unit of spears, armored desert hoplite, 69 melee defense in that hoplite wall, 90 armor. Should be able to hold for a little while. I don't know if he left the uh, unit formation attack on or not. Can't really tell. Won't really be able to tell until they get into combat. Does look like he left the formation attack on, though. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's uh, Nabatean Ar archers that broke. Is that a broken unit of axe? It is. Oh, no, that's Axe Warriors. That guy looked like he was holding a quiver. What the heck? Oh, there's the archers. Okay, I knew I saw... There's the Nabataean heavy archers running away. 67 men down to 9. Oof. All right, but whoa, 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 whoa. We got a development over here. We got Nabatea sending more of his army outside over here and you can see the attackers have been pressed back over into this corner over here do you still have the ballista crew is he around is he dead where is that ballista crew i see that they're gone 51 kills they're still around oh there they are right there ballista crew still full 40 men strongest and most dangerous 40 men group on the battlefield i always say that all right gallic hunters going to make their way forward 170 kills for them they are out of ammunition going to charge forward royal peltas now coming forward Gonna try and get into this armored desert hoplite. Gonna need another unit over here. Gonna need another unit over there because this armored, yeah, this armored hoplite unit is gonna start getting flanked, and they've already lost 17 men with only six kills. Again, they're hoplites; they're not known to get tons of kills, but 
getting outflanked by that uh, Royal Peltice right there. Masili and Torreo Spears, 198 kills, but they are under 100 men now. Okay. Switching into their square formation, so they're going to up their melee defense just a little bit more. 66 melee defense compared to the normal of 49. So actually, square formation is pretty effective. Uh, let's see. We have the Osborne General starting to shift down over here. Nabatea has sent out all three of his archer units because I think he lost one. Yeah, he's got three units of his archers outside trying to trade back and forth with these Cretan archers, but we do have a little bit more of a forward move. Axe Warriors, Desert Levy, and a Noble Swordsman making their way out, which I'm not a huge fan of Noble Swords. I've kind of made that uh, relatively known that uh, I'm not a big fan of Noble Swordsman. Got another unit of Noble Swords coming out. Back over on this side, though, this is looking dire. This is definitely looking pretty bad for the defenders at this point, but he does have two very strong units right here. Two units of Osworn could definitely come up over here and plug this gap, but the Thoreos, two kills. That unit still has a lot. Oh, my God, that unit still has all their javelins. Peltas General, yeah, there is still a lot of javelins over here. Maybe that's why he's not tempting to throw the... Uh, Tempting the fates to throw the Osworn in just yet. Fierce Swords here taking on some more of the Thorax Swordsmen. Unfortunately, this Armor Desert Hoplite is just getting pelted, though. Oh, wait. Oh, Arrow's going flying over. Getting into these Gallic Hunters. They only have 10 armor. They're going to take a lot of damage right there. Three kills. He's going to pull them back. Another unit of the Nabatean Axe Warriors making their way over. Armor Desert Hoplite's pulling away from the mainline fight. Wonder if the ho armored hoplites wouldn't be a bad idea to leave over there, but we do have an Osworn starting to move. Osworn starting to come around the corner. I wonder if he's going to just bring him right in there and have him start fighting. Where did he bring his general? He's got his general back there. We have another unit of Gallic Hunters right there. Side chariots have yet to move. Uh, the Nabatean general still sitting out over there. Both of the Massilian cavalry are over here. I didn't see where the other one disappeared to. But there is one right there, unless he brought it inside, which I don't think that he did. I don't see it anywhere, no. So it must be hiding in the woods back over here somewhere. But you can see right there, there is hidden spots. You can find little bits of uh, woods here and there to be able to hide your units on this settlement. But this is still a big problem. Osworn, hey! Osworn getting in there, already losing decisively. Oh, my, wait. What's losing decisively over here? Oh, I think it was the Armored Hoplites. Okay. I was going to say, how are the Osworn losing decisively? They're barely even in combat. They're, like, really not even in combat yet. They're tired already. Oh, no. Oh, because they used the head hunt. They weren't even really in fighting combat. Ooh, that's rough. Thorax Swordsman here. Another Thorax Swordsman closing in on 200 kills. Wow. Really well done so far, but this Massilian uh, Thorax Swordsman and his Thoreo Spears, Massilian Thoreo Spears, there was two units that got over over 200 kills as well. So, so far, really, really well done. We have an Italian Swordsman sitting right here. 41 kills. Looks like they're going to get ready to charge. Yes, they are. Coming in onto this Fierce Sword unit. Going to get rid of that Thorax. 207 for them, though. Fear Swords trying to fight as hard as they can. We have another unit of the Axe Warriors back there. Let's see how these Osworn are doing. Osworn taking on this uh, Massilian Thoreo Spear. Osworn here down. They've only lost two men. 50 kills. Okay, that is definitely promising. Definitely promising. But back over here, look at Nabatea still coming out around the corner. Pressing in just a little bit more. 37, 147, and 23 so far for his archers. Does unit still have ammo? It does. It does. It does. It does. I thought that was their axe or sword in their hand there for a brief second, but they do still have ammo. Uh, this Gallic Hunter unit, I'm pretty sure, is out. Yeah, 176 kills. Wow. Really nicely done. Celtic Slinger sitting back here with only nine kills. They still have a ton of ammunition left in those pouches. Royal Peltas General up near the front lines. Royal Peltas there. 185 kills with 85 men left. We have javelins coming in on these. Here we do. The Osworn now starting to suffer some javelin volleys from the Massilian Thoreo Spears. Osworn going to charge into the fight. All right. Good stuff. Let's see what they're up to now. 80 kills. They've only lost 13. Now 14, 15 men. 
Yeah, at least the Rayos. I think the Massilia and the Rayos are getting some good shots in. Oh, they are. Oh, they are. Somebody is. It's OS1 unit is getting shredded. Look at all the javelins coming in here. Oh my god. I'm just watching the javelins. That is murderous. Brutal, brutal. But guys, I just want to take this opportunity real quick. Say, hopefully you guys are enjoying the battle. If you are, please make sure to hit that like button. Definitely will help the video out tremendously. Uh, drop a comment down below. Share the content around. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Would really appreciate that. But all right, the uh, Peltas General here, 35 kills. The Rayos, oh, that's Thorax. Where's that Thorax? Right there. He's getting close to being in melee. 63 kills so far. Oswan here, 103 kills, now under 100 men. They have blasted the headhunt again, so he's going to try and get as many kills as possible. I see the chariot. Oh, yeah, the chariots are on the move. I just barely saw a chariot moving there. Going to need more infantry over here. What do we have left here? We have the desert pikemen sitting in the rear lines. Two other units of Oswan. Actually, that's the Oswan general coming over here? It is. Oswan general making his way up. I wonder if he's going to try and refresh... Maybe he's going to try and refresh that unit of Oswan there. They are winning decisively right now. I'm sure. Oh, they're taking on that Massilian Dureos, but Royal Peltas charging in, hitting that use the whip ability. Oh, boy. That Oswan's not going to be around much longer. This front line is looking like it's hurting. Okay, so he's actually bringing up his second unit of Oswan. The second unit of Oswan might need to be brought over here because this front line is not holding for very much longer. Actually, no, no, no. The Axe Warriors are doing pretty good now. It says that they're losing, but they're taking on a very small unit of Thorax Swordsmen. But they do have another unit of Italian Swordsmen right there. Still says that they are losing decisively. Oswan going to blast their way right in there. Headhunt off the bat. Kills are starting to pick up for that Oswan unit. Second unit of Oswan here, 119, 120 kills. Not too bad, but all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nabatea making a move outside of the settlement, bringing in all of his infantry. There's the second unit of Massilian Cavalry just showing back up out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. Got the Noble Swordsman here taking on a unit of Mercenary Sam Knight Warriors. That is actually a pretty tough fight, but the armor 45 for the Nobles, uh, 95 for the Mercenary Sam Knights. But the General, oh my God. The Nabatean General has now charged in here, taking on both units of the Massilian Cavalry. Here comes that Chariot. Oh boy, the chariot's got an opportunity. Chariot is moving in. We got Thorax right there. Full javelins, tossing them. Oh, God. Killed four chariots right off the bat. But the chariot's making their way through that Thorax. Keep going, chariots. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's got to six, five, four, three. Oh, no. Oh, well, he, I mean, he's still going. 118 kills. Oh, never mind. There's still one there. No. The chariots are gone. Oh, that's big. And his Nabataean Noble Cavalry General in melee currently taking on two Massilian Cavalry, two medium melee cavalry taking on the one heavy melee, but the general is losing badly. Rear charging onto these thorax. I guess he's just trying to get as many kills as he possibly can, but that general is now gone. Ooh. That is rough. What is this? We have some Italian swordsmen coming over here. Going to get towards these Levy Freeman. Levy Freeman are just going to charge in, but they are outnumbered over here. They're going to be outnumbered. This is going to be really bad. The defenders are still holding here in the middle, though. This Oswan is still there. 169 kills. So about 49-ish more kills than the last time we saw him. Still doing work, killing off these Royal Peltas. Good. Get them. Oh, no, 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 no. We got fire arrows. Oh, fire arrows. They're doing damage to your own guys. They're dropping the morale of your own dudes. Eee, that's not good, especially with such a small unit of Osworn there. 187 kills, though. Will they get... Oh, no. More javelins. Massilian Thoreo spears unloading on the second unit of Osworn. Now we have archer fire coming in again. Gallic hunters firing away onto this unit of Gallic hunters there for Nervii. 
Second unit of Gallant Hunters right there. Only one kill. They still have full quivers. Oh, they're the ones that are firing the fire arrows. Okay. Well, I mean, this also one's still there. 23 men still fighting away. 205 kills, but there they go. Wavering away. I think those fire arrows are kind of working against that unit of Osworn, and they are gone. Down to six men, 206 men. I mean, 206 kills. Osworn still trying to fight here. Unit losing, currently taking on Thorax. Massilian Thoreos. We do have a Nabataean Axe Warrior right there, though, trying to help out. But with that Osworn unit breaking, look at this right here. Full, wide open gap, and we have Massilian Thoreos. Thorax Swordsman making their way forward, but we do have some Desert Pikemen making their way up. 40 armor, though. They're going to take losses. There's still a lot of projectiles back here, aren't there? Cretan Archers, 84 and 164. Royal Peltas Generals, 37 kills. This Thorax Swordsman here uh, with only 10 kills, so they may still have Javelins left. This Massilian Thoreos Spear, 52 kills. They still have Javelins. See how the pikes are doing. Oh no, the pikes are doing weird stuff. That's why I hate pikes. That is why I hate pikes, because they do weird stuff. He was moving them up. They were all moving up as one solid line, and then this happens. What? What even is this? What is that? I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. The last time we saw them, they were moving all up together, but. That is going to be done there. Oh, we got Sam Knights taking on the Armored Desert Hoplites, a unit of Italian swordsmen here as well. I mean, the Armored Desert Hoplites did get 112 kills, 56 for the Sam Knights, 215 for Italian swordsmen. Where's that second unit of cavalry at? I see the general. Did the second unit die? Or is he still hiding them out there? He might still be hiding them outside. Levy Freeman still holding up against these Italians, really? I mean, I know they're going to waver and break, but I thought they would have been dead by now. I mean, that second unit of Massilian Cavalry could be big if he had it. Just bring it in this way. Now we have the Osworn General charging in. Two minutes, 38 seconds left in the battle. Osworn General getting in there, but this is uh, definitely, if you look at that balance of power right down over there, this is definitely looking like this is going to be an attacker's victory. So, from what I understand as far as how the rules go, uh, the attackers will be getting themselves three points for an attacking victory. And then for the defenders, if the defenders had won, they would have gotten two points. But they also have to spend points on the factions that they choose and everything. So, it's, it's a, there's a lot of points if you guys want to know how to do it. Again, like I said, just join the uh, Marketable Skills Discord, the link down in the description below. You guys can get in there to look at the rules, see if maybe it's a tournament that you guys would like to join in uh, for in the future. But yeah, Thorax Swordsman there, going to come in. He's going to come in here. They're going to come around. Nope, this is you. He's, he's wavering. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. Down to the Osworn General, second unit of Osworn right there. 46 men, 142 kills, but they are wavering away. So let's just stick in here and watch a fight. See if this Thorax actually... No, he's retreating. He's pulling back. I thought he was just going to come in around over here and wrap into the back of the uh, Thor... Into the Ost one there. No, oh, that looks like what he's doing now. Stronger unit of Thorax with more Javelins left in their... Uh, in their... I don't even know what you hold Javelins in. I guess their hands. You can't see them right now. Massilian Thoreo Spears coming around the backside as well. There goes the Osworn. Wavering down. Are we going to have javelins? Are they just going to... Nope, he's going to javelin them in the back. Oh, my God. Just straight up murder. Now they're going to charge in, and that's going to be it. He's still holding on, though. What is still... Oh, the Gallic Hunters came back. Oh, the, Ga the Gallic Hunters came back. I was going to say, the general wavered away. So that, once that unit breaks, that's going to be the end. Bang. There it goes. Wow. Costly enemy victory. Let's take a look at the kill counts here. Uh, starting off with the defenders, we'll take a look at Pixelated Apollo. 1385 with Nervii. Uh, 109 with his general. Hunters, one unit there, 172. Another unit, 97. Celtic Warriors did not really perform very well. Top unit, 73. Fierce Swords, 170, uh, 143, 125. Pretty good with those two boys. Osborne, 206 and 144. 
And we have Ruvek May with Nabatea, 1270. 47 with General, 126 with those side chariots. Archers, 153 and an 83. Desert Hoplites, 117. Uh, his Desert Levy top was a 29. Pikeman got shredded. Axe Warriors, 128, 103. And his two units of Noble Swordsmen here, 69 Giggity and a 49. And then we have Mo, 2,474 kills. Wow. 41 with the General. The other Missile, oh, they did break. The other Missile Cavalry did unduly break off. I thought they were still around. Uh, his Gallic Hunters, 133, 176, 231. Toreos, Spears, 153, 202, 142, 210, 167. Wow. Thorax, 105, 246, 219, 53. Actually, those, that one didn't even get in fight. I think that was the one at the end there that charged into the back of the Osworn. Uh, and then we have Decibel with Epirus, 1953, 30, 37 with his General, 51 on the Ballista. Archers, 125. Cretans, 164, 128, 213. Lyrian Levies, almost 100 kills. Nice. Uh, Italian Swords, 103, 180, 222. Sam Knights, 125, 100. And his Royal Peltas, 225 kills there. Two other full. Yeah, all of his Royal Peltas were pretty. The other three were pretty much full. But all right, guys, there you go. That is the end of battle number one between the Crimson Chickens and Alexander's Heirs. Stay tuned for battle number two. Should be coming out here in the next couple of days. But hopefully you guys, again, like I said, enjoyed the battle. Please make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, subscribe if you are new to my content. But that is going to be the end here for me today. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.